It was a late night. I had a 98-year-old patient who was very quickly deteriorating. She was a full code, meaning we would do everything we could in our power to resuscitate her, CPR, intubation, the whole nine yards. So we called her husband. The doctor explained to him, and he said he didn't want any further uh, measures done. So we made her a do not resuscitate. I asked the doctor, is he coming to the hospital? When will he be here? And he said he doesn't have a ride in. The husband and wife didn't have any children together. They, the church was their family. So I said, call him back. And I ordered him an Uber, and I paid for his Uber, and I contacted the Uber driver, and I said, we have an elderly gentleman here. He is, his wife is in his, the final stages of her life and he really needs to be here. So can you help him from the door to your car? And he said, absolutely, you're in luck, ma'am. I work with geriatrics. So that was a blessing. And he got to the hospital and I met the elderly gentleman in the lobby with a wheelchair and he was just, he was so upset. I, he, I feel like he was just in a panic. It's like that sheer like fight or flight, you don't know and his emotions um, were all over the place. I got him upstairs, I put him next to his wife and he got to sit in bed with her and we called the doctor and we explained to him what was going on and he got to hold her and lay in bed with her. Um, she passed almost an hour later and uh, I remember that day bringing him back. He wanted to pretty much leave immediately after she had passed and after the doctor came up and explained to him everything. I was bringing him down to the cab uh, and I was putting him in the front seat and he was very hard to walk so he has his arms around me and I'm helping him sit into the cab and I just remember him collapsing on me and just sobbing and saying thank you and he just wasn't really making any words and I in that moment realized that's why I do this job and yeah that was a pretty moving moment for me. <laughs>